Hi everybody, and welcome back to Franklin Cattle Farms. Today on the channel, we have a Howa Model 1500 in 6.5 Grendel. Um, this is not my rifle. This is one of my very good friend's rifles. This rifle is fitted with a Leupold BX2 6-18 to by 40 with CDS. By the way, by Leupold. I mean, look at this thing. Also, CDS, real great. Uh, actually, really, really great. Um, this is a fantastic scope. It's fitted with the uh, the target reticle. Um, so, as far as target work goes, this this has it covered. Um, this is fitted with a Evolution Gunworks 20 MOA rail. So, that'll really get you out there with this gun. Um, we haven't taken it past 500. However, we have not had any problems getting it to 500 yards. The 6.5 Grendel, in case any of you are wondering, is this round right here. It's a very stubby little round, shooting a obviously 6.5 millimeter bullet. The stuff that he likes to shoot in this is Hornady Black. This is a 123 grain ELD match. This gun absolutely adores Hornady ammunition, and well, at 100 yards it will hold sub MOA all day long. For the most part, three quarter MOA is to be expected. Um, as I said before, this is a Howa 1500. It is set up with a quick detach five round box magazine. Um, the, the only thing I could pick on a little bit is where the magazine release is. It's located on the front of the trigger guard. So if you do go to push it into a rest, such as the bag that I'm using right here, occasionally the magazine will pop out. Um, just a slight annoyance, um, not anything against the gun. Um, it is fitted with a two-stage trigger that is fully adjustable. This one is extraordinarily crisp, just like a glass rod. The bolt setup is that of a, well, Mauser style, or in this case, Remington 700. Um, as you can see, two lug with a just a standard plunger ejector and a external extractor. It also has gas vent holes circumferentially around the bolt. Seems to be a very safe design as the Japanese are very good at their quality control and, well, keeping guns from blowing up. This also has the number six taper barrel. It is an 18 inch barrel. And well, I figure we'll do a little shooting with it today. Um, this one is, as you can see, fitted in the, uh, the uh, black polymer stock. It does a good job. It is very light. However, it's not, the, uh, it's not quite up to the quality of some of the higher end, you know, McMillan uh, stocks or anything of that nature, but nor is it, nor is it supposed to be. It's also equipped with a fairly nice recoil pad. Not that you're going to need that with this particular caliber. Well, let's do a little shooting with it. Um, today, we're going to do a little shooting at 200 yards. We have a uh, just an AR-500 plate set up down there. And uh, let's see what we can do with it. All right, let's do a little shooting with this thing. As a matter of fact, as I said before, this is one of my very good friend's rifles. Um, he's had it for a little while, and we've uh, had real good luck with it. However, I myself have a CZ527 carbine in 7.62x39, and that also has a loophole on it. However, it is not set up in any way like this. After I send that scope off and get a CDS put on that particular rifle, I think we're going to have to have a head-to-head uh, -head competition between this 6.5 Grendel and my 7.62x39. Now, I will say this. The 6.5 Grendel is far superior ballistically, and it also maintains just a little bit more energy out to distance. Uh, the 7.62x39 was never, ever meant for target shooting. However, with the Hornady SSTs and uh, a judicious amount of marksmanship, the CZ will shoot, and will shoot just as well as this rifle. Now, uh, let's see how this particular rifle does today. We have a camera set up at 200 yards, and well, let's see how we can do. Again, I have uh, five rounds loaded. And I have a, uh, the adjustable objective on this scope. Uh, I have the adjustable objective set to 200 yards. Nice and crisp, like every loophole should be. There's a hit, just slightly high to the left. There's a hit dead center, about two inches, or excuse me, three inches to the right of the first shot. 
as I've said before, it's much harder to shoot well on camera than it is taking your time and doing it yourself. Oh, very top left edge of the plate. I am not doing a good job of showing how well this thing shoots. There's one on top of the last shot. As I said, this isn't my rifle, so I will blame it just a little bit on that. And the fact that the target's swinging back and forth four inches. Hey, hey, right on top of the other one. So, all in all, if this rifle is treated as uh, the accurate rifle that it is, it will do the job. And as you just saw, it doesn't shoot bad, but it would shoot better if I were doing a better job today. But, until next time guys, on Franklin Cattle Farms.